So I'm going to have my first question. I would like everybody to actually be able to discuss right now the Chernobyl issue. This is the overall topic for us, and it has touched upon everybody. So everyone has to say something about it. So let us answer a question. If we move back like 20 years back, and we need to briefly tell our children about why Chernobyl had been so important and why they shouldn't forget about it. Uh, even Chernobyl telling you more about Chernobyl. Well, it seems to me any historic trauma, whether it is Holodomor or Chernobyl, this is, these are horrible things. They create uh, our identity because our identity is generated not only by our wins, but also by our defeats. So this is part of our identity, I believe. This is pride about who we are. And that's why it is important to work with those cases. And it's important to remember where we were the winners and where we were defeated, where we lost something, because that reflects our today's life. This reflects our perception and policy. Well, this is helping us realize who we are as the nation. So it's important to actualize these issues and find ways to talk about this with the younger generation. We have this young generation. We have to be on the same page with them. Okay, the affairs with banners, this is not something they want to appreciate, but these state-of-the-art approaches, they help on the one hand to learn more about the history, and on the other hand, they can understand history can be fun. This is not just textbooks. This is not just about uh, something boring, but this is uh, the vibrant environment that we live in. So that's why NGOs are working hard on this, and they were trying to push forward this issue of our joint history, whatever it was, whether, whether it was positive or negative. Thank you. Hanna, what can you tell from your great experience of working on this matter? Just in a nutshell, I cannot hear you, but hopefully this, this is going to be fixed. Can you hear me now? Hello there. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. I want to welcome everybody. And first of all, I want to express my words of gratitude to the organizers for this great Chernobyl International Forum. I'm sure this experience exchange will be of interest for everyone, and it's going to be useful for our future development. Most importantly, in the future, this use will be appreciated by our attendees from all around the world, because all the institutions that are taking part in the forum today, those are organizations that are working primarily with the younger generation, as well as other people. Chernobyl is a special place in this event agenda. This is a modern part of the agenda. It's very difficult to work with the issue because people who were engaged and, and directly involved in that tragedy, they are still living. They have their special opinions. And when we need to disclose all this with the help of the contemporary leverage that we are currently provided with, through digital and multimedia solutions, but we did not have to forget about the special documents and artifacts that also bear a lot of energy the many can feel, both the adults as and children. And I can see that from our museum, because we have a lot of artifacts, and I'm going to be telling more about them. So if the children have an opportunity to not only see things virtually in a digital space and have built certain affinity with those artifacts, but once they can sense them and maybe even use them, I mean, touch them and use them, that's very important because this is the history. They have not only to understand but they have to also get those lessons learned. 
With our awareness raising project, we dedicate a lot of attention to this. And we not only have to be the place where the historic memory is stored, but this is a place as, as it should be to teach the younger generation to live in the contemporary world of the nuclear power and not to be afraid of it. We do not to make people scared, but we need to teach people to live with this. And that's the Modern Museum's mission of today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to thank you for everything you do in the last 30 years. I think your experience will be of great importance and we definitely need your expertise. Thank you very much for what you do.